Have you ever thought about having a tenant rent a room from you in your own home? If so, you may want to hear this story about a landlord who just recently was murdered by her tenant in Virginia. The tenant-landlord relationship can be very complicated for small mom-and-pop landlords. Landlords can sometimes get to know their tenant on a more personal level, especially if the tenant is actually living in the landlord's house and renting out a room. Although having a tenant paying you rent to rent out a room can free up your time and cover your expenses, it also gives the tenant access to your personal safety, which is something you need to think about thoroughly. This is exactly what happened just recently to 72-year-old Emily Liu, who allegedly was killed by one of her tenants. Emily Liu was reported missing on June 4th of 2021. This was discovered when she didn't show up to her job where she cared for senior citizens. She was last seen on June 3rd when cashing out of a grocery store, but when police arrived at her house a few days later, the groceries were still located inside her car. On June 15th, some of Emily's clothes were discovered a short distance from her home and about 20 officers searched the area at Ox Road and Peenwell Drive. Investigators searched for Emily on foot, via helicopter, and by drone. They also drained a retention pond and searched below ground. According to Major Ed O'Carroll, commander of the county's Major Crime Bureau, dozens and dozens of interviews pointed to Sayers as the person of interest in Emily's disappearance. Police had previously interviewed Sayers, who said he knew he was a person of interest. The police had been working towards an arrest warrant for him, and they received a phone call from him. He met with detectives immediately and brought them to a wooded area in Lorton, Virginia, near Dudley Drive and Laurel Crest Drive. Detectives then found Emily's body just two miles from her home. At 27 years old, Brian George Sayers of Woodbridge was arrested and faced his charges of second-degree murder. Sayers is also being charged with felony concealment of a body. He is being held without bond. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.